Hey YouTube. Hey YouTube, it's your girl Vivi. And I just wanted to bring my girls to you, Taylor and Chastity. Um, I just wanted you to see you guys to see their hair um, with nothing in it whatsoever. This is Chastity's hair. Nothing in it. She just has like really curled. I mean absolutely nothing is in it. And then this is Taylor. Hair. Nothing in it. Your close up hair. Nothing's in your hair. Huh? Whatsoever. Okay, um, I wanted to start off by saying that I learned something about both of my girls' hair. And I wanted to share it with you guys. We all know our hair is different. But I found out something when it comes to conditioning our hair, which is very crucial, and I think it may be crucial to other people out there. Uh, Chastity here, pretty much, I can do her hair exactly how I do mine, even though our curl pattern is different. I can do her hair as I do mine, which is, today was wash day. Um, I uh, used the Carol's Daughter Hair Elixir, Lisa's Hair Elixir, to just put some oil back into our scalp um, in her hair. Taylor, you don't stop doing that stuff. Put, put it back into our hair and our scalp. Um, after I let that sit on for about 30 minutes or so, I conditioned and washed the hair. Um, I conditioned and washed uh, their hair with VO5 uh, because their hair doesn't require something as thick as, trust me, naturals. So I uh, conditioned and washed their hair with that, left that on for a little while, detangled their hair, and when I detangled their hair, I didn't clean the sink out in between just to show you how great a shape my daughter's hair is. And, this is for me both of their hair. This is all the hair that I have got there from both of their hair. That's it. Both of their hair. Hi. Okay. So, um, after um, I detangled fingers, no, you tell no, uh, Combs, brushes, or anything like that. After I detangle their hair, I um, put tailors and twists and chastities. Um, I'm hoping I have time to twist her hair before bedtime, but I don't know if that's not the case, then I will uh, put her hair in part. But anyway, what I came to say is with chastity hair, I can condition hers as much as mine. I said that already, I know. With Taylor hair, however, her hair is kind of spongy. And it's more prone to single strand knots. Usually when I wash her hair, I have to hurry up and twist it up because of the knot. It, those little hairs will interweave and um, produce knots again. So I twist her hair up right after. I actually took the front down just to do this video. Um, so get out of here. That's my dog. She knows she's not allowed to indict her own. So, um... After um, what, I, what I learned, I lost my, my when you do videos with kids, excuse me, I do the train of thought. What I did was um, I noticed that um, I can't condition her, wash her hair as often as I do with Chastity myself. I think I'm going to do her hair once a week, whereas I co wash or chastity sometimes during the week. I'm just going to condition or wash your hair once a week, and I might even try to, uh, with the protective style, uh, do it every two weeks. Um, because when I condition or wash her hair too much, I did notice that her hair gets um, really mushy, like I'm over-conditioning it. And I know people are saying, how can you over-condition it? There is su a such thing as over-conditioning. I am a licensed hairstylist, and yeah, you can't over-condition someone's hair to it gets that matted. Feel it. And then I have one of my subscribers who I'm also a subscriber of hers, and she uh, just uh, blogged that she had a setback with her hair with uh, something with the oatmeal or something she put in her hair, uh, some kind of natural uh, uh, treatment, and then it got mad and tangled off in her hair because she has a spongy hair. And if she's looking at this, you know, maybe you should also think about not conditioning as much. If you do have that spongy type hair. 
So that's what I wanted to share with you guys that I noticed about my girl's hair and also to let you see their hair in um, its natural shape. Me, I've already um, twisted my hair out. However, I noticed something. You know how you guys do use like MA2 bleed-in? I switched mine up a bit. Um, before, I was using the Kiki Not Today as my leave-in and the recipe. And for the girls, I was using Giovanni Direct Leave-In. I switched it up. I like the thickness of the Kiki Curly, but it's still a little bit too runny for me. But the girls, it's fine. So, I bought this. It's not on my. It's called uh, Newbie EVOO in Moringa Repair and Skin Styling Custard. I'm going to be a doing. I'm going to you know, be. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a a touch on uh, what I did do to uh, get this mixture that I'm I'm getting and to show the results on my hair. But I just wanted to show you guys how much thicker it is. I don't know if you can see that. Perfect. And look, it's much creamier. You can put it on the strands of your hair and not worry about it falling off um, as you're trying to put it into your hair. And a little rose along the way because it's so moisturizing because the EVO oh, Moringa has so many natural oils in it alone by itself that um, uh, you don't have to use as much. Well, I'm going to have to cut it short because my... Nine-year-old has to go to bed. Her dad's looking for her now, and I don't want to get hollered at with her. So, bye. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube.